Tomorrow is Earth Day, and thrift stores are a sustainable way to donate and buy clothing. Marnie is the store manager at the Dakota Boys and Girls Ranch on North University, right? Yes. And we're going to talk about um, how you can kind of be a part of that cycle of donating and buying. It's, it's a really good, sustainable option, right? It is. It really is. I mean, I think, you know, a lot of times we talk about trying to reduce our carbon footprint, and a lot of times we think about maybe riding our bike to work or walking, and those are wonderful ways to do that as well. But you can also really do that by buying recycled clothing or donated clothing. So um, it's, it's just a fantastic option to be able to do that with, you know, something you would do anyways, just mm -hmm. by shopping. So. And Dakota Boys Ranch is pretty prominent in this area. We have quite a few stores. We do, yeah. yes. There's probably a Dakota Boys and Girls Ranch in your area. <laughs> so yeah, we have quite a few FM locations. We also, our newest addition would be our outlet store. So some mm. of the things um, we have there is just things that don't necessarily always sell at our regular stores gives it a second chance before you know anything can go into a landfill that is fantastic and there's a weird irony in this i was not thinking that i actually wore this shirt today that i bought it to go to boys ranch so it worked out and so this is a great example of um, you know i'll donate clothing there occasionally i'll stop in and get something else and it's it's really fun because sometimes you find those exciting deals or things that you're like, I hadn't thought of that and that looks awesome and it's such a good price. It is. Fantastic prices and you know, it just always remember when you're shopping thrift, whether it's with mm -hmm. us or elsewhere, you get to do things like keep things out of landfills. So, mm -hmm. you know, with us reselling and recycling, we've kept 4 million pounds of textiles out of the landfill, 1.8 million of those wow. uh, pounds straight from recycling. So please donate. Absolutely. So what happens with items that maybe don't sell at your stores? What do we do with those? That's a really great question. So um, like we talked about before, our outlet store gives it that second chance. Perfect. And anything that might not make it to there is actually recycled. So um, that goes in many ways, whether it's recycled um, in actual textiles that get remade into things, whether it's us cutting up t-shirts, selling t-shirt rags, selling towel rags, things that just aren't saleable as they are. So. There's many ways we can reuse that product. Gosh, that's so fantastic. So what are some ways the community can help um, if they don't have a sellable item to donate? Yeah, if you don't necessarily have goods, all of our locations always look to take on those plastic bags from the store um, or newspaper so we can wrap up your lovely purchases that you have so they don't break on the way home. So if you just have those things, you're absolutely welcome to bring them by as well. And so do you see you know, this kind of being a way for you to contribute, at least to the Fargo-Moorhead community, if not to the, you know, the U.S. or the global idea of we want to have less of a footprint. We want to find ways to use things that we still currently have and make them new in some way. Yeah, you know, you it's a great way to maybe repurpose, reuse. Um, not only are you going to reduce that carbon footprint and help the environment, um, but with Dakota Boys and Girls Ranch, you also get to support at-risk kids. So you get to double down on the goodness. Yeah, boy, are you going to feel <laughs> good about yourself when you walk out of Absolutely. there. Absolutely. I will say one thing that I like to go to the stores for, first of all, you can it's nice to be able to update your wardrobe every season it gets expensive but this is one way to do it um, but the other thing is I'll go in with a creative eye of like I know that I want this say that I want like a vase and right now they have the terracotta look that's really popular you can Pinterest how to make that and then you can find the supplies at Dakota Boys Ranch find your pot mix some baking soda and paint maybe we'll do that sometime <laughs> that sounds like a fun but plan but the point <laughs> is you can go in there and because the prices are good you have the opportunity to experiment yeah, and absolutely. try new things and you're if not you out anything. Yeah, if you see that thing on Pinterest that you're just not sure about trying, come in, get the supplies, try it. I'm sure it's going to turn out better than you <laughs> thought. Absolutely. But also that, like you said, doubling down on feeling good about yourself because now there's a sustainable cycle and now you're helping the kids. And yes. Yes, and absolutely. <laughs> yeah, moms out there, if you're thinking, I really love shopping and I need a way to justify it, it's for the kids. It is. It's for the kids. <laughs> and you can find yourself something cute, too. And yes. the environment. So, <laughs> all right. Thanks so much, Marnie. We appreciate you. Now, coming up next, if you might be selling your home this year, our next guest can give you some tips on how to get the most money out of your sale.